Warning, the following video contains a really awesome tutorial. If you have brain issues and do not want to learn stuff, then make sure you close YouTube, unsubscribe, and get the fuck out. Hey, what's going on guys? Darius here, and today I have a new tutorial, and this one's going to be on making fire animals. And uh, this works with any animal, and uh, you can use it also for other things like people, or cars, plants, or whatever you want. Um, just to give you an idea, like uh, you can you could make a, a fire rose or a fire butter butterfly or something. Uh, <laughs> you know, just be creative with it. Um, okay, so let's start with the tutorial. It's actually easier than it looks. Okay, so I'm going to head on in Photoshop, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use the stock of uh, a tiger. So I have a cut out tiger here. Make sure your tiger is also uh, cut out, like it has no background. And uh, to this tiger, we have to make some adjustments. So the first thing that we're going to do is desaturate it. So we're going to select the tiger layer, and we're going to go to Image, Adjustment, and then Desaturate. And now we're going to go here to the uh, Adjustments panel here, and we're going to select Levels. And we're going to pump up the whites, pump up the mid-tones, pump it down a bit, and this dark levels heal, the, la the last icon here, we're going to drag it down like this. And now we're going to have to go to brightness and contrast and just lower the contrast a bit. There we go. And uh, just make sure you have a clear black and white shape of the tiger. And now we're going to go to the, uh, the adjustments panel here again and we're going to select invert. And it's really important that your image is inverted. So uh, now I'm going to select all layers holding control on the keyboard and right clicking them and then I'm, now I'm going to right click all the layers and select merge layers and this is going to merge our layers and now we have to go into the channels panel and while holding control on your keyboard and you can click the you must click this uh, thumbnail here you must click this thumbnail here the RGB thumbnail and it's going to um, just going to select the area of the tiger, the white parts, and I'm going to copy this, Control C on the keyboard, and I'm going to make a new file, and let's see, I'm going to select a YouTube thumb size, doesn't really matter, this is going to be the size of your uh, manipulation, and uh, make sure the background is set to uh, black when you do it, so I'm just going to grab my bucket tool, and I'm going to go to layers and fill the background with black. Black just enhances the effect more and makes it look more uh, luminous. So I'm going to paste my tiger here and as you can see we have a black and white tiger and I'm going to resize it by pressing Control T on the keyboard and I'm going to make it just a bit smaller. Make sure you hold shift when you resize the tiger so uh, it maintains the proportions. There we go. I'm going to put it here. And now the next thing that we have to do is click on this uh, square here and it's going to lock the transparent pixels. And this will allow us to modify the color of the tiger and uh, just within the tiger. So I'm going to select my brush tool now, a big size one, and I'm going to select this uh, yellow here. And I'm going to paint over the tiger. Uh, this is a, what color is this? Light yellow. Okay. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to untick this and uh, let's name this layer Tiger. Render. There we go. And now I have to, I'm going to have to double click this Tiger Render and I'm going to go to Outer Glow and select red as a color. And I'm going to put the opacity to about 50, 51. Yeah, this should do, and then OK. And uh, now I'm going to grab this, uh, what is this, light yellow orange color. And I'm going to just, oops, I'm going to have to lock the transparent pixels again. And just brush around like the legs and the tail with a big soft brush. And this one's going to enhance the image a bit, just add it, uh, add it a bit more red edges, you know. Uh, <laughs> and now we can actually move the tiger about here. Okay, so uh, let's just zoom in a bit and see how it looks, and it's pretty good so far. Um, a thing that we have to do now is add the fire, and um, how are we going to do this? 
So I have a fire stock on my desktop. I am ju I'm just going to drag it in Photoshop. And uh, you can just Google these. They're all over the place. Just Google for fire stocks and you're going to find a lot, a lot, a lot of fire. So you don't have to use this one necessarily. You can use whatever fire you want. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go to my channels and I'm going to select the uh, green channel and I'm going to click on the circle here and it's going to select a certain area of the fire. Now I'm, I'm going to unhide the RGB layer here and uh, I'm going to go to layers and then I'm going to make a copy of this background layer and I'm going to press Control C on the keyboard and then Control V and this is going to make a copy of the fire and it's transparent now and uh, now we can use it with the transparency so I'm gonna just copy all this and I'm going to paste it on the tiger and as you can see it's pretty awesome looks good and uh, it's transparent uh, okay uh, now I'm going to make this a smart object so we can resize it without lose losing quality and uh, now all that we have to do is just make it a bit smaller and just paste it around the tiger and it doesn't really matter how you paste this because it's going to get erased anyway in the end so just place it all around the place like this and you're going to erase it later let me just put this like here like so just going to flip it so it's not that hard guys just a little bit of patience and you can do basically any photo manipulation you want make sure to look tutorials online a lot like that's what I do when I um, when I need some inspiration or I need to learn something because when I when I learned to do photo manipulations and stuff I didn't learn on my own I got help from uh, tutorials online and stuff so make sure that you guys do the same <laughs> um, okay so back to the tiger now as you can see I pasted around it like so and I just covered it and fired and as you can see I stood within the edges because uh, only the fire is going to be only around uh, the tiger let me just make a, another copy here and just put it here where it's missing like so there you go and another one here and where else did we miss something ooh the tail of course okay and one right about here okay so now our tiger is uh, covered in flames and now we have to erase the uh, extra flames that we don't need so how do we do this first uh, let's make these uh, layers editable so I'm going to select the last layer on top and then I'm going to go to the bottom to the first layer layer 1 and I'm gonna hold shift and click here and it's going to select all the above layers it's like uh, the file system in the Windows uh, that's it works on all computers and uh, yeah <laughs> and now I'm going to right click and select rasterize layers and now right click again and select merge layers and now we have the, the entire fire on one layer so now I'm going to grab a uh, soft brush tool about size 20 hardness 0 and I'm going to just erase where I uh, don't want the fire to hit like on the tiger's face for example I want it clear from the fire and uh, oops I just didn't do that so I'm going to just fast forward this video a bit and I'm going to erase the uh, parts that are not necessary because I'm not going to stand here for uh, 10 minutes erasing and not seeing anything so I'll be right back okay so as you can see I just erased the unnecessary big flames that were around the tiger and uh, I just left it with like this border here and uh, I'm just going to hide that and I'm going to put this on screen and right here in a new group I actually additionally made some uh, added some big flames to uh, the tiger which is actually just this normal flame that we've been using uh, w around the tiger so far and I just I felt like the tiger needs more uh, you know more bigger flames around it so I just added like a flame here 
or a flame here on the tail and uh, it's the same flame it's just erased like I did with the borders um, and right now let's just leave this big these uh, big flames you can experiment with them as much as you want to and uh, there's only two last steps that we need that we need to do for this manipulation we're going to select the tiger here and uh, uh, I'm sorry the background and we're going to make a new layer above the background but behind the tiger render and you're going to select a big uh, 1500 pixel uh, brush and you're going to select this color here which is darker red and you're going to just click once in the middle and as you can see the red in the background just enhances the lights on the target and just makes it more uh, luminous and uh, to make it even more luminous we're going to select the tiger render and we're going to click here and select levels and we're going to uh, play with the levels around and just enhance the whites here just going to pop it up more 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 and as you can see right now it's really really luminous let's just make the background the red background just a bit bigger I press control T on the keyboard and just make it a bit bit more bigger like this just gonna center it like this and press enter and uh, that looks fantastic that looks actually really really good and remember that this works with anything anything you want you can make a flaming house you can make a rose a butterfly anything you want remember that additionally you can add some smoke or like a charcoal background that's about it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in so long. It's because I had artist block and uh, it's quite uh, a hassle for me when I have those uh, and it actually takes longer for me. I have, I ha I've had longer artist blocks like uh, took months and it was horrible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I got my mojo back and it's also thanks to you guys because you suggest uh, in the comments and uh, PM me on Skype or, or something with ideas uh, so just thank you for that I really appreciate it um, yeah so uh, that's about it I hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to like the video subscribe and favorite it if you really like the tutorial